Hey guys, I wanted to shoot this quick video to help you out um, with an issue that I've been having. And, uh, well, that I, I, not that I'm having, that I had. And I thought I fixed the problem and everything, but um, I'm, uh, when I was looking for the problem, I couldn't find anything on YouTube. What was happening with the truck was it kept killing. It would just kill in traffic, no colds or anything. Um, we changed all kind of sensors. Uh, I changed the the tr crankshaft position sensor. Uh, I was going to change the throttle position sensor. Um, we changed the air filters. Did a tune-up, everything. Um, trying to figure out the problem. So, probably spent about 500 bucks trying to diagnose this problem. Um, but what ended up happening, um, is that I ended up calling around and I just kept researching, reading on different forms on trying to find out what was the problem. And uh, again, the problem was that the truck would just kill for no reason, no matter if um, we were just sitting in traffic. Um, a lot of times too, it would happen is when we'd pull up at a light or a stop sign, the truck would just kill. And then it wouldn't shoot any cold. So that was the problem. So if you're having that issue, your your problem may be the solution nine times out of ten is your um idle air sensor idle air uh sensor and that's this part right here at the bottom right here is your throttle position sensor at the top which was the thing that i was going to change but i said well let me try it. i ended up calling a mechanic and he told me that on vehicles Normally, he said, if it doesn't shoot a cold, this is your problem. Because um, this thing doesn't have enough, enough electrical juice to shoot a cold that's gone to it. It's just a minimal. So, and if you think about it, it makes sense because um, when I'm idling, that's when the truck would kill. The truck would never kill when we were riding on the interstate or uh, taking off or going fast or anything. It always just kill when we're just sitting at traffic or at a stop sign. So the part is easy to change. It's just two bolts right here, one right here, and then I think it's one on the side that you have to change. And uh, you unscrew it and just, I think it has a little tension on it, a spring. So you have to put it back um, in the same position, the new one that you took out the old one. And uh, it should be fine. And just remember to <clears throat> remove your little electrical connector disconnect your battery first and uh yeah guys that was my problem i couldn't find anything on youtube to help me solve this problem so i uh, hope this helps you out it's a uh, uh sensor was about 40 bucks 50 bucks and uh hopefully this will save you money um save you from going to a mechanic um and save you to the headache and hassle of trying to diagnose the problem if you're getting this issue without any codes and your vehicle just killed that's nine times out of ten that's your your problem right here your idle air sensor thanks